great day. So I want to talk about confidence today and how important I really think it is uh, in the journey to become a good man. So I know personally I need to grow in confidence. I've, you know, there have been times when I should have been a leader in the situation and I wasn't because I wasn't confident in myself and my abilities. Uh, and sometimes, you know, when you're too confident, it can, it can lead to disaster. It's, it's possible, but you learn from the disaster and, uh, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to give you a quick little antidote real fast uh, from my daily life. So in construction, there's this thing called a circular saw. I'll put up a picture right there. Circular saw, basically, there's, there's a, you hold a button and the saw starts spinning uh, and you can run it along, along a track or you, know, you can eyeball it. A lot of times in my job, because you don't want to take 20 years to set up a track, you just eyeball it, right? And uh, it takes a steady hand, it takes concentration. And when I first started out using a, a circular saw, I was just super trepidatious about it and I was always getting in my own head thinking don't mess this up don't mess this up because you know as I said before for me it's important to take pride in your work you try and give the customer the best product you can and if your lines are off all the time chances are your product isn't going to be as good as it could have been so long story short I'd get in my own head I'd be like Ruben oh, you're going to mess this up don't mess this up don't mess this up and you know, what would happen would be I'd deviate from the line that that was drawn or, or snapped with a chalk line and I'd deviate from the line and my cuts would be jagged and it didn't, you know, it wasn't as good as it could have been. And so the other day, uh, I managed, you know, after doing it enough to just kind of get out of my own head and I was like, you know what, here's a line, keep the blade on it, you can do it. And vroom, cut it and it was one of the straightest lines I've cut so far. Uh, and, you know, that was that was an instance where confidence really helped me. Becoming more confident in my ability to use that tool ended up making me use that tool better. And so, from where I stand, I needed to grow in confidence in, in a bunch of areas of my life for sure. I mean, there have been times where I should have been a leader that I wasn't because I was not sure of myself and my abilities. The abilities I know that I actually can have, right? The, the ability sometimes to go into to a situation that is full of chaos and to bring about order from that chaos, like that, I know I, I am capable of doing that and sometimes I don't rise to the occasion when I should, but it is a manly trait to be able to do that and to do that when you are called to do so, all right? And so I think confidence is incredibly important as, as a man because if you don't have a capability to lead and you're in a situation where nobody else does either, that's, that's a recipe for disaster. And so growing in confidence in the small things in your life, for me, it was using a circular saw. I mean, it's very simple. It's just a part of my daily job. And for me, I'm getting better at it and I'm, I'm trying to become better at it and more confident with it because it makes me a better person. Because it, it means that I'm really working towards, I'm trying to work towards perfection. Now, I'm obviously, like I said before, not a perfect person. I have many flaws, uh, but I think one of the main things about trying to become a good man is just constantly striving for perfection. Not that you're going to reach it. It's impossible. You're not going to be a perfect man. There's no such thing. But always fighting your hardest to do that. And maybe that is, it's, it's as small as when you walk by a garbage can and it's full and you throw a piece of garbage in there and it falls out, maybe you go back and you pick it up instead of expecting someone else to do so. You know, it's, it's just like small stuff like that, which yes, that is happening before where you'll throw a piece of garbage in the trash can and trash can was full. So it falls out and you're like, I could just walk away or, or I could become a little bit of a better man and just go back, pick it up and put it in the trash can like I should. And maybe even take out the trash, go the extra mile. Uh, but, <laughs> but that's aside from the point, what I'm trying to say here is that I think confidence is incredibly important if you're going to become a good man because, you know, men who are more confident, they tend to derive more respect from, from the people around them because, you know, they're willing to, to put themselves out there and go out on a limb in order to bring about a, a greater good. And so try and become confident with the smaller things in your life. That would be my advice and, and slowly work towards when situations occur, which are, which are more important and, and have more risk involved with them to where you can step up and be confident in your abilities, be confident in yourself so that you can actually, you know, create, create order and, and be the leader when you need to be. I think it's important for men to be able to, to lead others in trying situations. And so be a man who can be a leader and be confident in yourself. 
That's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching Man in the Making. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.